Hello, this is part 4 of our complete ESCO code tutorials. In today's lesson, you will learn how to automatically create a build for internal or external testing. In the typical workflow, once a PR review is accepted, it will likely to merge into the main branch or a beta branch. From there, we can trigger the process to send the app for internal or external testing. To continue from the last project, let's create a new workflow. On the bottom left, click on Create Workflow, select your product, give it a name, and keep the environment as default. For the start condition, let's keep it as branch changes. The source will be custom branches and we will use the main branch. This way, whenever the main branch changes, we will automatically send a build for testing. For action, we will select build. Since we want to send it for both internal and external testing, we need to archive it. Select archive. If this workflow is for internal testing only, choose test file internal testing. For this lesson, we will select both test file and app store so that I can demonstrate how to send it to external testers as well. Take a look at the error message. We need to ensure that we enable clean in the environment. Click on environment, check clean. Now let's set out both actions. Let's start with selecting internal testers. Take a look at the error. It said internal test flight deployment does not contain any beta groups. This means that we need to add a group. However, we haven't created any group yet. Click on external testing and you should see the same error. To create a group, we need to go to Apple Connect. When you are on the test flight page of your app, click on the app button next to internal testing. Give a group lead and add a new testers. Let's create a external testing group. Click on the add button next to external testing. Give it a group name. Then add new testers by filling out their information and click add. Click on the add button to create a group. If your group doesn't show out, like my case, you will need to recreate the entire workflow, I will skip this recreation part. Once everything is loaded correctly, you should see your group. Select group that you want to receive this new build. Do the same for external testing. Once done, save this workflow and merge something to the beam branch. On the last lesson, we had created a PR and we didn't merge it. We can use the merge this PR to the main branch by doing this. The main branch detect code changes and it will trigger the workflow. This workflow is running and I will speed out this part. Oops, there is an error. But why? Take a look at the error. We can see that there is something missing. Encryption compliance declaration. If you go back to Apple Connect, click on iOS, 
and manually fill out the information. For example, in this ad, it will be done for the algorithm mentioned above and click save. Then we can add our internal tester. Moreover, if we go to external beta, we can select build and send it for review by filling out all the information. Once that is done, it will send to the tester. However, to automate this process, let's go back to Xcode. Click on Show Project Navigator, select your project, go to Info, and add its app's user non exam encryption. I will provide the information below so that you can simply copy and paste it. The value should be set to no. Then push and commit the changes. This will ensure that the process is automated. Create a pull request. The old workflow should start running because we trigger when a PR is created to the main branch. We can ignore the result and merge it. This will trigger our beta test workflow. Once the workflow is done, you can see a green, a yellow because for external testing, it requires app review before you can send to external testing. Now, you know that how to send builds for both internal and external testing. Additionally, you can use this build and send it to the App Store for app reviews and release to the App Store. In the next lesson, we will cover how to set out workflow to trigger when a tech change occurs in the release branch.